Hello, I'm Nikita Morell, a copywriter and marketing strategist for Architects, and welcome to day 12 of 30 architecture website fixes in 30 days. So today I want to look at a mistake that could be costing you clients, but on the upside, it's a mistake that can be easily and very quickly fixed. So what's the mistake? Well, it's a lack of readability on your website. Okay, let's jump right in. So we've all been there. You arrive on a website where the font is so small, it looks like tiny marching ants across your screen. You squint, you try and increase the view size, but it just all gets a bit too hard. Or what about a website where the color contrast is awful? That bright pink on a red background. You feel dizzy and almost have to just look away for a bit. Here's an example I want to show you. So this is Ortiz Leon's website. Now, as you can see, this heading and that first paragraph is fine, but as you get into the text, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I find it very difficult to read. It's this light gray on a black background, and it is quite small. So it continues like that throughout. And it really just boils down to this. You might have the best website copy going around, but what's the point if no one can read it? Okay, enough of this example. Now I want to show you a good example. So this is Tenant Brown's website, and I want to share it with you because I believe they've successfully been able to be creative with their font, yet it still remains legible. So as you can see, it's a white, large font, easy to read against a black background, great contrast, and then it continues as you scroll down. So as you can see, their headings have been broken down like this. But the best part is that the font type and size, whilst it's not that ordinary on a straight line, I'm just trying to show you another example. Yeah, like look at this. So yeah, whilst it doesn't sit like ordinary text, it enhances their brand look and feel. So when you read it, you immediately get a sense that this is a dynamic contemporary practice because it's different. The southerly wind whips around the wrought iron walls, whistling. It's just so cool. So admittedly, it's easy to get carried away when designing your website. You're given so many options, colors and font sizes. It needs to feel and align with the look of your brand. But it is easy to forget that readability comes first. And what's readable anyways? Doesn't it depend on who's looking at it? A person age 25 might find it a little easier than someone age, say, 85. Well, luckily, there's an objective guideline called the contrast ratio. It's defined within the web content accessibility guidelines and measures the difference in perceived brightness between two colors. So that is the foreground and the background. So they do recommend that you aim for a contrast ratio for over 4.5 to 1 for normal and 7 to 1 for large text. I'll put a link for the free online color contrast checker in the notes as well so you can have a go because I know it seems a bit tech and if this is going right over your head then it's just something to keep in mind when you're talking to your web designer. So and then what about the size? Well they say 16 px or pixels is the ideal font size for your main body text. It's not too small, it's not too big so it helps improve your copy's readability. So I know it was a bit of a quick one today but please, please make sure that your copy is not headache inducing. You want to make exploring your website a pleasant experience for your prospective clients. And if you want an objective opinion on your website copy design or usability, then check out my website audit service. Details are on my website, nikitamorell.com, or just send me an email at hello at nikitamorell.com. So have a lovely day, and if you've been enjoying this 30 Architecture Website Fixes in 30 Day Challenge, please be sure to share it amongst your friends. And tune in tomorrow for Day 13.